word problem in two variables and we are involving numbers. The question here is the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 81. Find these integers. So this is an interesting problem. One, it may not have two variables. When you say three consecutive, you may think about three integers, right? So it could have three variables. Uh, but surprisingly, we will see that we can write this equation even in one variable. So there are cases when you can actually write your equation in just one variable, right? So let's try to understand this problem and then we will actually write and solve, right? That says sum of three consecutive odd integers. At times I have seen it difficult to understand what is the meaning of three consecutive odd integers. So let's take an example. For example, what are odd integers like 3, 5, 7? Do you understand? Those are odd integers. It could be even minus 3, 5, 7, right? So those are all odd integers. Let me write down. Let's say integers are 3, 5, 7. These are odd integers, right? All are odd. You will see a pattern. It is skipped by 1, right? If I write value of 3 as x in terms of variables, then what is y? I mean, y the next term is x plus 2. And then the next term you can get by adding 2 each time. So if you add 2 each time, then I should write plus 2, right? Add 2 more, correct? So if you add 2 each time, you keep on getting odd integers in a sequence. So these integers in a sequence are called consecutive. So numbers which come in a sequence are consecutive numbers. So that is the basic understanding. So one way could be, you could say three consecutive integers are x, y, and z, three variables. Then the problem becomes very difficult to solve. So what we do is, we treat it like this. We say let, so now I'll define the variables and you'll appreciate how we can define just one variable to represent three. So it says, the sum of three consecutive odd integers. So let, okay, let the integers be x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. Do you see this? If I write, let the integers be x, x plus 2 and x plus 4, I will get odd integers. Why did I add it to? Because I want to skip and get to the next odd number. If I write 1, I will get the even number, 4. Do you see that? I am avoiding that. And the good part is that we are able to write this in terms of one variable, right? So that is how we should define consecutive integers. Whenever you read consecutive integers, Try to put only one variable and then write your equation, okay? So, the equation is let the integers be x, x plus 2 and x plus 4 and that will give you the equation. Read the problem once again. The sum of three consecutive odd integers is 81. That is, if you add them, it should be 81. So, let's add them and write down the equation. x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals to 81. So we got our equation. Since there is only one variable, effectively it is x. One equation is enough to solve. How many x's we have in this equation? 1, 2, 3. So we can write 3x plus 2 plus 4. 6 is equals to 81. So we can rearrange and write 3x equals to 81 minus 6. So we get which is equal to we get 3x is equals to 81 minus 6. At this stage, you can use the calculator also, right? So we get 81 minus 6 as 75. And from here, you can say what is x? Divide by 3, both sides. You get x equals to 75 divided by 3, right? Which gives you 25. So x is 25. Therefore, our integers will be Check your answer. 25, right? So x is 25. So x will be 25. x plus 2 will be 27. And then plus 2 will be 29. So these are 
the three integers for us, right? And therefore, now you can write down your answer very clearly, right? So let me write down the answer on this side. You see, answer is, right, the three consecutive odd integers are, write all that, okay? Then write 25, 27, and 29. So that becomes your answer, right? You can add them at this stage and check. Is the sum really 81? So check your answer. That is what I am always saying. Check. Add them up, right? So 9 plus 7, 16 plus 5, 21. So you get 1, right? You add 2, carry forward. 2 plus 2, 4, 6 and 8. That is right. So that is how you need to do such questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Thing to remember here is that if you have a question involving consecutive odd integers, even integers or just numbers, use only one variable, right? And then solve the question, okay?